I'm Louis Pacquia, and you are watching Stealth Lawyers. Today, we're speaking with Scott Jordan, founder and CEO of apparel maker Scott Evest. Scott's company was one of the first apparel brands to sell exclusively over the internet. But before he got into the fashion business, Scott, believe it or not, was a lawyer. He joins us now via Skype. Welcome, Scott. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Lee. How are you? Of course. Doing well. Um, so you had a really interesting career. Um, you went from a job at law firm DLA Piper, uh, working on real estate law, to running your own business. Um, really interesting transition. When did you make the call to move away from the law into a career in business? Well, it, it sort of evolved. I don't think there was a particular moment, but uh, it, it came after I co-founded a, a startup internet company as their corporate lawyer, uh, general counsel. <laughs> It was uh, in 1999 as the internet bubble was uh, just bubbling up and uh, I, I, I realized then that there was a, an opportunity for this business and uh, just rather than going back to practice law after you know the internet company was not doing so well as others and I decided to give it a try and that was, uh, it was about 10, 11 years ago. Mm. So we're really talking about two specific transitions here. Uh, you first made the decision to leave working inside a law firm and get out of the law firm space, but then you were also working as a GC at an internet startup that ultimately didn't succeed. Some people say that it's even more difficult to transition, transition out of being a general counsel uh, into going to work exclusively on the business side. What was that like? You know, yeah, I think that the problem is, is once you're, you're a lawyer, people think of you as a lawyer and it's very hard to transition, you know, at, at all. I, I had thought that by going from being in, you know, at a law firm as a senior associate at the time, that if I were to go in-house as an associate general counsel or general counsel, that's one step closer to the business side, which is something I always had wanted to be, that it would be even easier to take that final leap over to the business side. But it, you're right. At, once you're inside, you're always re thought of as the lawyer. And it, it, it became very difficult. Even now, uh, you know, given 11 years of success in, a, in business, I'm still often thought of as the, the lawyer. And it, it sometimes makes dealing with um, some legal matters uh, difficult because whereas I think that they would not otherwise get lawyers involved because they think I'm going to exercise some magical legal powers on them, they, they bring lawyers in earlier than they otherwise would. Mm. So I don't know if, if that fully answered your question or... It's a tough label to shake. You know, I talk to people who left the accounting profession, uh, for example, and people don't tend to think of them as accountants only, first and foremost. But with lawyers, that distinction, that label seems to remain. Why do you think that is? You know, I don't... I... Uh, I think that, you know, the, uh, lawyers consider themselves special or, uh, you know, I, and, you know, I, I don't know. Mm. I, I never, I never would have imagined that it was the case. Mm. Uh, 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 go ahead. I just, I, I always felt that, you know, law, you know, when I was thinking about going to law school, it's always a great background to go into business. My, my, my advice to someone, if you want to go into business, you know, I don't think, you know, going through three years of law school and practicing law is going to get you there faster. Having said that, you know, the legal background that I've had has helped me immensely in my business and saved me a, a great deal of money and, uh, gave me a lot of insights into, you know, litigation and matters that uh, I, I wouldn't otherwise have without it. So it's hard to, to balance on whole whether it was a, effectively a good decision looking back or not. Yeah. Prior to starting your own company, did you feel you ever were able to shake off the, 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 the label of being just a lawyer? Or was well, that when you start your own start company, company. That you can, that's the only way you can. Yeah. So yeah, I was completely able to do so. Uh, having started my own company, you know, it didn't matter necessarily, you know, to my employees or my vendors. I mean, it, it only mattered in my experience with some contentious matters that I had that ultimately ended up in litigation. But otherwise, you know, it 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 didn't it it didn't matter at all, and and helped me. Mm. And of course, you ended up in, in the fashion business of all things, not necessarily an easy space to make money in. Uh, why fashion? And uh, it seems to me it's the polar opposite from, from working in the law, or is that not true? Did you see some, uh, some synergies between the two? 
I had no expectation of being in the fashion business. I, I came up with this idea of patenting, you know, in, incorporating wires in clothing mm-hmm. and licensing it under the brand name Technology Enabled Clothing. And I hope to just clip a bunch of coupons and make billions of dollars with this great idea and not have to sell a single piece of clothing. Lo and behold, I, I learned very quickly uh, that patents take many years to go through the process and that most apparel makers have no respect whatsoever for intellectual property. So without giving them a proof of concept showing other apparel makers, you know how technology-enabled clothing as an ingredient brand can help their brands. Uh, I, I knew I had no shot of of making this a success. So I formed a, a subsidiary company called Scotty Vest, an awkward name brand, uh, you know, named after the first product, which was an e vest, and having a difficult time getting uh, the URL for e vest. I just Put Scott on on the front of Scotty Vest and or E Vest and and there you go and 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 lo and behold you know I formed I put up a website I thought it'd be a brochure website and I, I e-commerce enabled it and started getting orders almost immediately even before I had products in, in inventory uh, it was due to no small efforts in in PR and going on blogs you know from the very beginning saying check out my product and sending samples and and whatnot so the, the hope was uh, that people would recognize that technology enabled clothing as a, a ingredient brand and patent uh, was significant enough to help you know take this uh, awkward name company and, and create a multi-million dollar business out of it and therefore it would be worth their while to license the brand. As it's turned out, I, I, I've, I've been so successful with Scotty Vest, I haven't had enough time to really focus on my initial plan. Uh, although we have uh, successfully defended our patent against the likes of uh, uh, North Face, Patagonia, Ralph Lauren, and Under Armour, just to name a, a few. Mm-hmm. So. Now, when we're talking about an e-vest, of course, uh, could you take us a little bit through what what your product is and and, and what makes it special? Uh, absolutely. Uh, if you look at the the website scottyvest.com, uh, you'll you'll get a better idea. I, I'm I'm wearing one of our products. It, it, it's not. It started out as a vest. If you think of in terms of a a photographer's vest or a fishing vest, and you take out all those external pockets that make it look so goofy if you will and you design we design the pockets so that they carry the things you want to carry not just your cell phone but also your tablet your bluetooth your earpiece your passport anything that your 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 digital camera uh, and then we 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 have uh, the patented system so that every pocket you could use headphones and, and have them wired up and in this what i'm wearing here you can see a little ear loop there perhaps you can yeah so i can see the, it <laughs> I can put my iPhone in, which this pocket has a pocket internal to it with a magnetic closure, so it fits the iPhone just right. And there's a hole in this pocket that I could wire my headphones up right, right through there. Ah, very cool. In addition, you know, we put pockets where no one thought to put a pocket. So I have a pocket under my arm here, so that I could put my eyeglasses or my wallet. I have another one over here and another one here. Hidden pockets that enable people to carry the things they'd like to carry together with the personal area network is what distinguishes our product. And we've been at this now 10 years and no one, no one's come close to designing, you know, the, the things that we're doing. It almost took a lawyer to, to, you know, or someone with a completely different background to say, you know, why can't you make clothing that has all this functionality to it? You know, I, I often kid that, you know, for, for thousands of years, you know, clothing's, you know, you know, two and a half things. One is protected you from the elements. Mm-hmm. You know, that was the first thing the caveman decided that they needed, you know, something to keep them warm. And then they said, well, if I'm going to wear it, I might as well be fashionable. So that's the second thing. And the half is, oh, let's slap a pocket here or there. No one's really thought about what you're putting in that pocket. How easy is it to to get things out and, and, and the like? And that's what that's what we do. We we know more about pockets than anyone else. Mm. So it, it sounds as you're talking about uh, your product and, and uh, the, the specific characteristics uh, related to it, uh, I almost would hazard a guess to say that it was – very helpful uh, for you to have a background in law going into um, a business that has products that sound rather patent intensive. Would you agree with that? 
Uh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it really helped knowing, you know, a little bit about patent law. Although, you know, as a real estate corporate lawyer, you know, you think you know something about patents. You have no idea that I, I, it's really hard to read my own patent. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're convoluted. I might as well be reading Greek. So I knew enough when I wasn't getting adequate representation to get a different lawyer. I've happened to have gone through a series of, 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 of lawyers. Uh, I have very high expectations of lawyers. I, I was a, a damn good lawyer when I was working at DLA Piper, you know, which at that time was called Rudnick and Wolf and ultimately merged in. Uh, and, uh, you know, the managing partner is now the man co-managing partner of DLA Piper, a friend of mine, Lee Miller. Um, so, uh, you know, it was helpful to have that background, but I, I've learned a great deal since then. And I, I've learned a lot about, you know, with lawyers on the client side as well. Mm. So for the, um, for the senior associates out there who are thinking about making a similar jump, uh, going out and starting their own successful business, uh, what advice would you have for them, Scott Jordan? <laughs> do do it now. Do it a day sooner, because you know uh, you're just going to be a year older when you decide to do it. Uh, you know, I, I I wish I had done it sooner. No, it, it, but it, it will be gratifying in the long term. I, one of the things I like best is I hated filling out timesheets. You know, er, at the end of every day, you, you you had to you know account for every hour of your day and minute of your day. So it's liberal experience but you know it it, it it think it through because you know there's a lot more to it than you can imagine so all right scott jordan ceo and founder of scott evest thank you for your time today sir it was my pleasure i enjoyed it if you'd like to learn more about the issues we just discussed be sure to check out our offerings on bloomberglaw.com and also on the bloomberg terminal you can see more of our videos on youtube and you can follow our updates on twitter i'm lee pacquia thanks for watching